Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Corolla, and this is the long-awaited unboxing of the Creality CR10 3D printer. It's been sitting on my desk for a while. I've had so many projects going. I haven't had a chance to get to it, but I can't really wait any longer. So I'm going to open this thing right now, and I want you guys to see it. So here we go. Just made it all the way from China here safely, I'm hoping. Wow, very nice for us to look. Packed very well on this phone. <clears throat> Everything is shrink wrapped together, so it's pretty solid. Not rattling around at all. Check it out. This is the bottom, I think it is the y axis. Not quite sure yet, but we'll find out. Okay, so let's put this aside. See what else we have in here. They give you a roll of tape. This tape is for making your 3D prints stick to the bed. So they give you this. Uh, some people use glue, hairspray, different things. Uh, we'll have to test them out and see what works for us. We do have PLA for starters. So here's a box. Another one. We'll open that in a second. Um, here's the power box which you want to make sure you set, if you're in the US, set it to the 110. It's very important. There's a little switch on the side for that. I hear something. We'll figure out what that is in a few minutes. All right, that's everything, wow. Okay. So the nice thing about this unit is, and one of the reasons I got it since I am so busy, I wanted something that assembled quickly. And this thing comes in pretty much two pieces. You just have to assemble the X and Y, and then attach your power pack, which comes with nice cables. So we should be up and printing in a few minutes, but I'm letting you guys know this is, I have no experience with this whatsoever. I just done a little research online as most of you are doing right now watching this. So <laughs> we're gonna be doing this together and learning, All right? So I will take these things out of styrofoam and lay them out on the table for you. It's really nice solid aluminum construction. Feels very good. Very nice. It's got feet already on it, so it sits there nicely. I'll have to check the distance of the travel. I wasn't sure where to put this, um, so I wasn't sure how much room I was gonna need. I'm still working on the shop downstairs, so as that comes together, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, here's everything out on the table that we got out of the box. You see the transformer with the brain right there. There's the base and there's the Z and here's the box. Let's open that up and see what's in there.
Nice, I had high quality USB 2.0 cable. Instructions on assembly. I'll do the probably assembly. Um, yeah, maybe tonight. We'll see if I have time. Power cord. This is the bracket for holding your PLA or your ABS or whatever filament you're using. Here's some equipment, tools. This is your nozzle, memory card, it looks like. Some sample. This is the white. PLA, this is 1.75 millimeter. Your spatula for getting your pieces off the table. Here's some braces to help strengthen the Z axis. This I'm sure is a pin to clean out. <clears throat> Maybe your hot filament, your um, nozzle. And here's your Bowden tube. So, Really, man, they assembled everything for you. It's simple. I'm gonna open the instructions right now and just check it out. But wow, compared to that, a couple other printers out there, they're really a lot of work to put together. So this one looks pretty simple. All right, I'm gonna read these instructions and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. You can see this is the packing list that comes with it, which tells you all the pieces and everything that was in the box. And then here's the instructions. They're really simple. So I will have this thing together in a few seconds. And I'll be right back. All right, yeah, as you can see, we're getting low on parts. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's almost together. Um, let me loosen this so I can show you. You can see how tall this thing is. We'll be making some pretty big projects in here. So, can't wait. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you guys about putting this thing together is this aluminum extrusion is pretty cool because it uses these T nuts and you can pop them in uh, pretty easy. So, they lock in place once you tighten the bolts. But, this thing is already pretty solid and I haven't even put these on yet. So I can't wait to see how stiff it is um, when it's all together and tightened. So stay tuned. All right, we got all the parts together finally. Didn't take that long. There's a little confusion. I accidentally tried to use these instructions. So I hope you guys don't think these are the instructions. They, there is an SD card that comes with this setup. Make sure you put it in your computer and read it. I will show you guys the instructions. Here they are, they're a little bit better detailed. Um, but if you wanna go one step further, make sure you join the Facebook group. There's a Creality CR10 Facebook group and they have right on the top pinned post instructions for you that are so well detailed. Someone took the time to put them together and do it for you. So make sure you check that out if you're serious about 3D printing. Um, otherwise, you're going to waste your time trying to plug these in, and it's confusing. So, on, a, on another note, I wanted to give you guys just a couple quick tips. Now, I haven't turned this on yet because I haven't leveled the bed. I just got everything together. Um, they gave you a sample filament. This is the sample filament that they gave you. It's um, a white PLA. Um, but of course I went with orange as you can tell it's my color so we are going to use the orange PLA to test out some of our new prints now one of the things I heard while reading online was that these things can pull themselves over and tip and you don't want that to happen because if it lands on the side or gets caught it's going to mess up your print a lot of prints take a lot of time so if you got 14 hours investing in a print you don't want something stupid happening like your filament falling over and messing up your bed. So another thing, they include this scraper. Now, as this is sharp and extremely dangerous, I'm sure if you're in this long enough, you'll hear a horror story of someone trying to get the plastic off the bed and slip and cut themselves. So 
be very careful, use with caution. The reason a lot of people debate different things, glue, tape, special mats to put these things on, um, is because you want it to stick and also you want to be able to remove it at the same time. If it doesn't stick to the bed and you get something tall and it starts wobbling, you're in trouble and your print's gonna look deformed. If it's too stuck on the bed and you can't get the bed off, you, off the bed, you're in trouble. So, this came pre-applied with tape, the tape that they give you. I'm not really happy with this tape because there's bubbles in it. I tried to smooth it out. Um, I used to tint windows, so I did my best, but there's a lot of air trapped in here that may mess up the leveling process. Um, I didn't want to go into too much detail on how to level it in this video because that could be easily done in a separate video. I just want you guys to understand that this thing is pretty much pre-assembled. I tightened the brackets, I put in the T-nuts, um, I plugged everything in. Like I said, make sure you check out the setup instructions that come with it on the SD card or you're going to be lost um, unless you do a lot of research. Some people just enjoy watching videos like this, so they're well prepared and they know what they're doing. But that's pretty much it. As always, <laughs> thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Until next time, I'll keep you guys up to date once this bed reaches temperature and I'm able to level it. So, um, yeah. Join the CR10 group and happy 3D printing.